I really don't want to die. I'm only six. I'm six! Hello everyone, it's Tanya here and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Saturday BitLife challenge. I missed the one last week. Apologize, a lot happened last week, but I'm, I'm here today to film it. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked at myself that I've never actually made a playlist of all my BitLife videos that are just challenges. I should do that. But today I, it's, it's five o'clock when I'm filming. I was helping my parents pick out paint colors for our garage. So it took me a little while to sit down to be able to do my makeup, but it's fine. We're here today, we're gonna be filming it. I'm excited. I have a bunch of videos filmed for the rest of July and I'm, I'm excited for you guys to see them. But anyways, before we get into it, make sure you guys go check out my social media. I just filmed yesterday a Instagram followers controls my bit life. So if you ever want to be a part of any type of video like that, make sure you go check out my social medias like my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Those are Tanya Berger. And finally, today's post notification shout out goes to Matuku McKenna. So thank you for turning on my notifications. I appreciate you subscribing. And yes, that being said, we're getting into the challenge. We're gonna complete this as fast as we can. Uh, well, as fast as we can two hours after it came out because I was helping my parents pick garage colors. I'm the only one with 2020 vision in my family. So I got, I had to help out my parents. Okay, so <laughs> I was not expecting this. We have a manic mother challenge. We brought our kids into this world and it's time we learned that we can take them out of it just as well. Oh my gosh. It's already been competed by 14,000 people, which is insane. So we have to have 10 plus baby daddies, which as you know, for me is not a problem. Insult each of your children. Abandon each of your children. Marry a man with two plus children and insult each of your stepchildren. Oh my god. I feel bad about the abandonment. Oh no. That's easy. I got this. I'm jinxing myself, I think, but we're gonna do it. So let's be a female from... I'm just gonna scroll and then pick... There. New Zealand. <laughs> sure. Ashley Lee. Special talent? I mean, I thought for a manic mother, there would be like murder one of your kids, but that's not the case. So I guess I don't need crime to be my special talent. Our appearance doesn't matter and our attributes won't matter either. So let's just start Ashley's life. Okay, I was a female who was adopted as a baby in Auckland, New Zealand. My father's adopted me as an infant and fought over who got to hold me first. And I am a Libra. The only astrology I know is Virgo because it's my own and Gemini. So, I, so we'll just do like hookups. Um, it'll be like way too much work to have to like date people separately. So let's just get started. <laughs> let's get started. Oh, and then we have to actually marry a man with two kids. Okay, which one should I do first? Oh, I feel so bad. I'm gonna be like throwing out insults to my kids then be like, okay, bye. A little girl named Olivia wants to become your friend. See, I can have friends. I just can't be nice to my kids. I have breast cancer. Oh no. You're at the park and have free reign to play as you choose. Let's go on the swing set. I'm gonna die, aren't I? We can't go to the doctor till before. Wow, I didn't even know you could get breast cancer that young. Is, is the breast tissue even developed that young? Or doesn't that develop with puberty? I actually have no idea. This is not an anatomy class. This is me playing a bit life. So we're just going to keep treating it and move on. And pneumonia. I'm having a tough time. Keep treating our cancer and now pneumonia. So that does not help. Jesus, okay, we, we've cured our pneumonia. Oh boy, okay, <laughs> we broke our parents' ceiling fan. I'm sorry, I'm, I broke it, okay? No, my health is dropping. <laughs> I'm not getting, oh, I really don't want to die. I'm only six. I'm six. My parents adopted a girl named Pamela. Oh my God, I have a new sister. Oh my God, and to celebrate, we're going on a business class vacation to Switzerland. Let's go. I just need to cure my cancer. I was not expecting this. My friend Olivia asks if I'll tell her mother that she's been playing with me all morning, even though it's not true. Of course. As friends, we gotta back each other up. Hello. Olivia, I got you. I'm gonna give her a gift. I have no money. <laughs> I will ask my dads, okay. I can't, oh, I can. I totally missed the button. Okay, now I'm gonna ask my dad. Okay, $2. Olivia, let's give her a $6 gift if we can, a toothbrush. That might have not sent the best message actually. I'm, I'm so sorry, Olivia. I didn't, I totally didn't mean to attack my classmate. I stretched my classmate and a skull. Then I punched her chest and made her heart literally skip a beat. I still have breast cancer, you guys. I don't know what to do. There's no other doctor options other than go to the doctor. 
Olivia unfriended me after I had your back. Let her go. I had your back and she betrayed me. You betrayed me. You unfriended me when I covered for your with your mother. What if I go? Look at that. I was like, let's go to the emergency room. But I didn't have to. I want to be in a Mr. Beast video. Anyways. That's a random thought I just had. <gasps> Driver's test. Yield ahead. Ask for a more expensive car. Thank you. <laughs> Can you imagine being a 16 year old with $57,000? I would die. It's actually good I didn't because if I did, I would probably have spent it all on concerts. Not my hair being on the tree for the next three minutes of footage. Listen, food. <laughs> So it's actually good not to have that much money when I was younger, actually. Great. <laughs> now that I think about it, I would have just spent it all on like One Direction stuff, Shawn Mendes thing, later in life, BTS. Like, <laughs> it's good I didn't have that type of money when I was a kid. Oh my God. I, okay. I kind of want to be a painter. I wish I was like, I like painting for fun, but I'm not like a good artist. That must be so like cool to be able to paint as your job. Are you a goal oriented person? Yeah, <laughs> we always have long and short term goals. Okay, so let's start hooking up with people. That's probably the quickest way and not use condoms. Oh God, I'm gonna get a bunch of STDs, aren't I? Let's just hope it goes away. Wait, no, this doesn't bother me. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I think I should actually go to the doctor now. Look at that. I have uncurable therapies. Ah, uh, pregnancy. Okay, we got we have a baby. Peter. Peter Griffin. I should have named it Peter Griffin. <laughs> I wish there was a in real life you can't change the last name. It has to either be your last name, the guy's last name, or hyphenated. I wish I could have self-made his last name Peter Griffin. Because when you have a kid, they technically don't have to take your last name. You could literally name your kid Peter Griffin if you wanted to. Oh my god. Okay, um, keep going. I feel so bad. Okay, I'm pregnant again. Let's age a Benjamin. On to baby daddy number three. Oh, sorry, Matt. Okay, don't use- I gave him herpes. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Ashley is ruthless. Okay, keep the baby. That's baby number three. With all the things I'm getting, all the STDs I'm getting, I am really getting bad health. I have herpes and depression. Well, and we're at three kids right now, so let's have seven more. Another boy. I'm tripped out. Why are we only having boys? Let's see. Are we gonna have 10 boys? Can you imagine? Let's just keep going. Nope, not pregnant there. Let's hook up with him. Don't use a condom. Pregnant. It's a boy. It's another boy. Stop. I have so many health problems. Doesn't bother me. I'm not gonna treat them yet. I have five children. They're all boys. They're literally all boys. I'm gonna have 10 boys. I think like my genetics are just making me have a lot of boys. A first girl. Okay. I thought something was happening there. I thought we were just gonna have straight boys. Okay, we're pregnant. Age. Oh my god, that me that's right. If you have STDs, your kids are born with them too. There's a chance that my kids had them. Bill, well, I've actually had only one girl. The rest are still all boys. That's insane. I have nine kids and eight boys. That is crazy. Please get me pregnant. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and the number 10th baby is a girl. Perfect. Now we have to insult each one of our kids, but I don't think they're old enough to insult. So we have to, let's just spend time with them all to keep our relationship up until then. And now I'm going to go to the doctor to see if I can treat any of the treatable illnesses because I don't need to hook up with people anymore. Okay, so we're good with that. You know how there are so many like names of medical terms and stuff that would be such a pretty name? Like the name, like chlamydia would be such a pretty name. But because it's chlamydia, like, you know what I mean? It'd be such a pretty name, but <laughs> how old do they have to be to insult them? Okay, so they all have to be three. So my youngest is zero. So let me just age three years. Okay. <laughs> I'm insulting a three-year-old. That is so sad. What is wrong with me? Okay, I called Jack skeezy. God, my kid numb nuts. <laughs> Amelia. A blockhead. <laughs> Blockhead. Okay, Oliver is a blockhead as well. Love that. Guess they're twins. Finally, Peter. Ingrate. What does that even mean? That is literally so cruel of me to do to spend time with all of them and now I'm gonna abandon them. What do I think I am? I abandoned Peter. A Benjamin you. <laughs> I abandoned him. <laughs> goodbye, Jack. And finally, goodbye, Mia. They have been all successfully abandoned and now I need to find a sugar daddy with two kids. <laughs> Um, wait, I have no money for 
a dating app. Okay, hold on. I need to age a couple years. Well, at least now I'm not losing money with kids. <laughs> Angel my ear, let's use a dating app and find myself a sugar daddy with two kids. I need at least two kids. Okay, they have three. Beautiful. Oh, let's marry him now. I'm gonna propose. Where should we propose? A sunset cruise. And I'm not signing a prenup, so I don't know about you. We're not having a honeymoon. Oh, he's making me sign a prenup. Men and their audacity. <laughs> okay, Um, we had a drive through wedding chapel marriage. Keep Mrs. Lee, okay? Stepchild. I only just realized while editing now that my camera had shut off. Oh. <laughs> but basically what happened is that the moment I got married and stepkids were added to my kids, the abandon all kids and insult all kids unchecked. So those two unchecked because apparently you can't do those two separately. You can't insult kids and abandon kids and then get more kids after that unchecks it so i had abandoned all my kids <laughs> and i didn't know what to do so i used time travel to go back so what you have to do is you can insult your kids at any time but once you abandon them before you actually have step kids that unchecks so don't abandon your biological kids until you get married to the guy with two step kids or else it unchecks and you wasted all the time, all that time having babies. I really didn't want to start over. So I used time travel just to when I had insulted the kids. But yeah, I didn't realize my camera shut off at that part because I don't know, I'm an idiot. But yeah, so that like rocked my world when I saw that. I was like, oh no. So I was like, what do I do? <laughs> I'm like 40 now and I can't have kids. So yeah, I had time traveled because I didn't want to start a new life because I wanted to get the video out as fast as possible. So yeah, make sure you don't abandon your kids until you have your stepkids then you can abandon them or else it'll uncheck. Okay, so I traveled back in time <laughs> because as you saw, when I remarried, when I got married, it unchecked that I insulted all my kids and that I abandoned all my kids. I was like, excuse me? So I went back in time to when I had already insulted my kids to before I abandoned them. And now we're going to see what happens. So I was trying to find a sugar daddy, but I don't have money now for whatever. So I'm just going to marry this guy. <laughs> so I'm going to propose to him. I'm going to see how this works. And he rejected me. Okay. Why, Mattia? Propose again on a gondola ride. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay, let's have a wedding. Oh my gosh, I don't have money for a wedding. You're joking. But why do, why do I have to pay for the wedding? <laughs> you should pitch in too. It shouldn't be just me. Okay, I've just pretty much been aging. I'm finally making enough money so my debt is going down. My dad passed away. He wanted to donate his body to science. Thank goodness I got an inheritance. I can now finally get married. I'm not in debt. Okay, screw it. We got the inheritance. Let's do a vineyard in Dubai. Let's do it. We don't need a prenup. Beautiful. Keep Mrs. Lee. Okay, this is working. We got stepkids now. So now I need to insult my stepkids too. And then I think it'll work if I abandon them all. So that was something that I did not know. I thought you could do it separately. That's what I did the first time, but I was like, I'm not doing this again. So I time travel. <laughs> Learn from me and don't make that mistake so you don't have to time travel. So that's our stepdaughter, Holly. And then I have to abandon them all, okay? So that's how you have to do it. You have to have all the kids and stepkids all together and then mass insult them all and abandon them all at the same time. If you abandon your biological kids first, it will not work. No time. It's time to mass abandon the mall. I wonder if my husband is gonna leave me. He's gonna be so mad. Elijah abandoned. Sorry husband. Oh god he's so mad at me. My husband's gonna literally divorce me the next year. How much do you guys want to bet? Okay abandon Holly's. Oh gosh Peter. Goodbye Peter who I was gonna name Peter Griffin in the beginning. Me and Oliver still have a good relationship. That's so sad. And our final child. Last but definitely not least. Mia. Goodbye, Mia. That is the challenge. There we have it. Manic mother challenge complete. Do not make the mistake I made. Do not have your 10 babies with your 10 baby daddies and then insult them and abandon them. You can insult them. That won't uncheck, but don't abandon them because then when you get remarried, 
It won't count. So I time travel. <laughs> there we go. That's how you do it. That is the manic mother challenge. I hope this helped you. I hope you learned from my mistakes and you don't make the same mistakes as me. That was a pretty fun challenge. I'm not going to lie. If you guys liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. That really helps me a lot. Make sure you subscribe too. We're so close to 230,000 subscribers, which is insane. So it's literally free to do so. So if you want to hit the thumbs up button or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I'm going to be uploading my next video on Monday. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah. With that being said, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mwah.